young fit. Just a little fry. I knew the way I was growing, I was going to be the baddest fish alive. But now I'm grown. And I'm cruising with some shad. All these dams in my way. Making me pretty mad. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is working to restore American shad populations by improving access to freshwater spawning sites and by using national fish hatcheries to increase shad survival. American shad are native to the east coast of the United States from Maine to Florida. The number of adult shad returning to many U.S. rivers are going down. So fish biologists capture returning wild adult shad in the spring. These fish are transported by truck to the hatchery where they are cared for in tanks of fresh water. The shad spawn and fertilize their eggs naturally in these tanks. Then the floating eggs are netted out of the tank water. Biologists count and disinfect these fertilized eggs to manage both shad production and fish health. The eggs are placed in plastic cylinders where the water flow gently rolls the opaque colored eggs while they incubate. Any dead or unfertilized eggs are removed. In about eight days, the eggs hatch into nearly invisible half-inch long larvae. Hatchery staff feed the shad larvae the freshly hatched and much tinier brine shrimp at first. As the shad grow, they are also fed a dry commercial fish feed. When the shad reach a length of about two inches, they are released into their home river where they will continue to feed until late summer or fall. Then the shad will migrate to the ocean where they will continue to feed for another three to six years before returning as adults to spawn. Improved survival from spawning to hatchery release and release of these shad in restored historic shad habitat increase the odds that this species will continue to survive and thrive. On your plate. Well, the way I see it, brother, there's lots worse of feet. I'd rather end up on your table loved by one and all and to be shredded by a turban that used to be a waterfall cause I'm a fish